flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I'm at the nursery and I want to put together some mosquito repelling patio pots that I think will be a big hit with my customers. One of the most in demand and most requested plants that I had last year was citronella and I didn't have any. What did I know? My first year in the business, I did not expect the demand for citronella. It makes sense though. You want to enjoy your outside space in the evening after dinner. Mosquitoes really stop people from enjoying their outside spaces. So if you have a pot full of mosquito repelling plants, then that's a good thing. Planning ahead for this year, I made sure I had lots of citronella coming in and those plants are now here. I thought I'd take some of them and build some patio pots with a whole bunch of mosquito repelling plants. Now you have some options when it comes to patio pots. Some people are gonna want something like this that they're gonna be able to set on their table, on their back deck, in the middle of the table. So this could be a good option for a tabletop display, but you're not gonna be able to fit as many plants in this one, and you might only be able to put like one citronella plant in this, and that's gonna work for a lot of people. However, because I wanna use a variety of mosquito repellent plants, I'm gonna use a bigger pot. I have these nice black planters. I don't even know how big they are, let's see. It's made from recycled materials. It's 15 inches wide. It's a nice size and I'm gonna be able to fit more than just one citronella plant in here. This size I think will do just fine. Let's go get the plants. These are the citronella plants and the tags say it right away. Mosquito plant. They absolutely have that citronella smell. And now these ones I purchased in four inch pots. I bought them to pot them up into a larger pot size so that when my customer comes here in early May or late May, these plants will be much bigger for them already. So obviously citronella is gonna be the main ingredient in here, but there are a lot of mosquito repelling plants. Let's go scavenge around the nursery and find some. I definitely think some are in here. Okay, I'm headed to the back table and right away, there are several options here. Okay, so this right here is lavender. Look how big the lavender plants are getting, guys. This is a Munstead lavender and lavender is a mosquito repelling plant. I might grab one of these to put in that'll also add a pop of color. And guess what else is a mosquito repelling plant? Rosemary. I am not going to use this, however, today but I am gonna use those right there. This is lemongrass. Let's grab one right out of here and let's use this. These are the oregano pots that grandma planted and believe it or not guys, oregano, especially hot and spicy, mosquito repellent. My mother-in-law and my father-in-law actually um, found this out. So my father-in-law came and he was like, what's hot and spicy oregano? And I was like, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool, so I ordered it. And then later that night they were online and they found that it was actually a mosquito repellent. So I said, wow, that's a good idea. I'm gonna make a video and use it in a mosquito repelling patio pot. All right, so now I have a lemongrass, a citronella plant, and a hot and spicy oregano. There's one more ingredient that I wanna bring to this pot and I want it to add a pop of color and also more mosquito resistant qualities to round out this pot. And this requires a field trip, guys, because <laughs> this ingredient's in grandpa's greenhouse and uh, got a little bit of snow. How about you guys? Anybody get some fresh snow? We got about, I would say about six to eight inches, but it's melting fast because can't beat that March sun. Uh oh, my brother is here working on the electric and he's jamming out to some music. So I might not be able to record in here because copyright. Marigolds. Durango Flame. This is a French marigold and these are the final two ingredients. I think five plants is going to be good because these all get quite large. So let's stick with these. Now I need to fill the pot. Okay, I have all five of the plants that I'm going to be putting in this pot. In the middle, I am going to put the citronella. Now, these plants can get large, all of them. The lemongrass, the citronella, the marigolds, and definitely the oregano. Some of these plants are annuals. Some of them are perennials. Obviously, the marigolds are annuals, and they're not going to come back next year. However, you can, there are ways of making the lemongrass, the citronella, 
and the oregano come back every year. Now the oregano is hardy from zone five to nine, and then the lemongrass is more of a tender annual, but you can overwinter it indoors. And citronella is the same thing. You can try to overwinter it indoors. You could also take cuttings from a citronella plant and then plant those and root them and save your own citronella from year to year. Okay, so in the middle here, citronella can grow up to 24 to 30 inches. This mosquito repellent patio pot this mosquito repellent patio pot is gonna be huge. Okay, I am keeping the mosquito plant tag. I think it's cool. We're gonna put it right there, leave it right there. I'm gonna take this citronella and pop it right in the middle. Didn't have that big of a root ball in there. Okay, so that's gonna be in the middle. Now the lemongrass, I'm picturing this up against the side of a porch or up against a railing. I'm gonna put the lemongrass in the back Ooh, look at that nice root system, you guys. Ooh, the lemongrass tag fell. So Ethan potted these up just about two and a half weeks ago from plugs, and it already has a really nice root system. So I'm gonna put this in the back. So there is the lemongrass. This is the oregano that grandma planted just the other day. It is peppery, guys. I can't wait to try this in dishes. Okay, so this I'm gonna put right in the front. Okay. Even this, Graham just planted these last week and you can even see the roots coming down below, well below where the plug was. Okay, so that's gonna go in the front. And these don't look like much right now, but these Durango Flame Marigolds are gorgeous. I'm gonna put one on each side that way there'll be some gorgeous color in this pot in addition to being mosquito repellent. You can't get better than that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the tags in. This is the hot and spicy oregano. Where'd the lemongrass tag? Oh yeah, okay. Lemongrass tag in the back. Okay, this is gonna grow up and be a mosquito repellent patio pot. I just like saying it. <laughs> there are other things, you guys. You can go to your local greenhouse find plants similar to this, but you can also find plants that are not on this list. Let's talk about some other ones. Lantana, floss flower, you can even plant allium in pots and that's a good mosquito repellent. Let's see, eucalyptus, ageratum, basil, believe it or not, basil is even a repellent for mosquitoes. And then there are things like mint, cat mint, sage, lots of different things that you can plant and make your own mosquito repellent patio pot. I'm gonna do up about 10 of these for my local customers in my community, and that'll leave me with about 30 citronella plants to sell individually. I wanna have a good number of them because I do have people coming in simply looking for citronella. People love to put them on their back porch. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video all about making a mosquito repellent patio pot. I mean, I have snow on the ground right now, but mosquitoes are coming. They can smell the skin. They know it's time. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. This mosquito repellent patio pot. Can you mosquito repellent patio pot? Can you mosquito repellent patio pot?